the Cupertino date picker. We will create a button and when we press on it, we will have access to a date picker. You can select the date, you can select the time also. So let's create this right now. The first thing you will need is a date time. And this is how date time works. We have the year, then we have the month, then we have the day, the hour, and the minute. Next inside the center widget, we will use the Cupertino button. This one will have a text Cupertino date picker and the onPress function will trigger the show Cupertino model pop-up. Inside we have the context and we have the builder. The builder will have inside the context and will return a sized box. The height of the sized box is 250. The child is a Cupertino date picker. And you will see it's very simple to set this up. I will start by putting a background color white. The initial date time will be the variable date time that we have created at the start. Then we have the argument on date time changed. This will give us a new time, which is the time that the user will select on the phone. And then we just need to set state and we say that the date time is now equal to the new time. Then you can use this to know the time and the date selected. You can use the 24 hour format if you want, and you can change the mode to use only the time by example. So if I click again, I will have only the time or you can have only the date. I will try again and you will see that this is only the date now. And if you want to display the date time on the screen, you can change the current text widget by something like this. And you will have the current selected date on the screen.